Hey everyone, welcome back to Amore Fabrics. This is a vintage sari sale. This is video number five. Um, if you want to catch up on video one all the way to this, you can. Um, up, uh, down, up or down below there is a way that you can go to my videos here on YouTube and then you can go through one, two, three, four, what have you. Or if you simply just want to grab a sari by color, down below is the direct links to every color. I have yellow, um, brown, and purple yet to show, but all the other colors like um, red, pink, blue, greens have been shown already in videos one through four. But don't worry about it. Down below, like I said, if you want to look at those saris and not watch this entire video going through these, um, down below is the direct links per color. So what I mean by that is down below, there'll be some links and they'll say green, blue, yellow, what have you um, in the drop down menu. And it will show every sari that I'm showing uh, through videos one through, obviously this is video five. <laughs> but this is video five. If you're new here, uh, this is a, a craft channel, usually that I sell crafty fabrics um, and um, ephemera from around the world. Vintage, I only do vintage, I only sell vintage. That is my main goal, is unique vintage items uh, that you can add to your stash. Or like in this case, this is a vintage sari, uh, which is uh, usually they're like um, a yard wide by two yards long. Um, usually they call them dupitas. Um, they're usually they consider um, a sari that is like the blouse part of a sari um, in India. Um, down below, if you click on any of those links and you go to the listings for these items that I'm showing you today, um, it will describe more in the description. But these are only $19 a piece. These are uncut. The, as you, What you see is what you get kind of saris. I have uh, lettered them. Um, so when I show them to you, I'm going to go through each and every one of them on the table. Um, and then what you see is what you get. But again, like I said, down below, there's the links to these. And you can see them in the photos and pick and choose as you want. Again, these sell really fast. So, um, like, a good example is, um, like, um, I'm at letter B here on the yellows. A is already sold uh, before I even got a chance to do a video for this. And there's other ones sold as well. So they sell pretty fast. I haven't even posted these videos yet, and they're selling... Again, they're only $19 for a vintage sari, which is a great price. I'm also going to give away um, these cute little embroidered bags for every two saris that you purchase. And if you're from the United States, any two saris that you purchase, it's free shipping. Because anything over $35 in the shop, you get free shipping. So that's even better. All right, guys. All right. I thank you guys for being patient with me. Because, again, this is the vintage sari sale video number five. Um, and video number five, I'm doing yellows. Um, and video number six would be these browns. And video number seven will be purples. So bear with me, guys. Um, I just might even be able to do yellows and purples together. I'm going to try just to keep each video per color. Because I find that when people want to shop for the sale, they don't want to go through one video that is two hours long to find the color that they want. So at least you know that this is all yellow. So this video is going to be a ye yellow um, flip through for each and every one of these and I'm going to press pause and go to the table so then you guys can see um, each and every one of these yellows. Bear with me. All right, we can do this. I'm going to do two saris um, at a time and we'll start with letter B and letter D. Now, as I said, um, letter A had already been sold um, and it looks like letter C has been sold as well. Sorry, guys. Literally, sorry. <laughs> That's a bad joke. <laughs> All right, I'm going to adjust this camera and so we can get started on this video. Here's letter B. It looks like it's only sequence, and letter D is more um, embroidered. So letter B here has just beautiful soft yellows. And I'll lift it up a little bit to show you. Oops, I'm trying to get used to the video camera in this mode. And then a little letter D, like I said, if you want to zoom in and get better uh, pictures of these, um, this is when you go to the listing, you can click on the photo and um, you can zoom in and see. Again, this is just embroidered. That's all it is. I don't see any sequence on this one if you don't want any bling. So there's letter B and there's letter D. Let's go to the next ones. Here is letter um, E and letter F. Letter E has light sequence. Um, it is it is like um, embroidered and sequenced, and on the border of the letter E is this cute yellow lace trimming. I don't know if you can see that in this. 
but this has like roses throughout. Again, and if you heard me earlier, these uh, measure oh, just over a yard wide by two yards long. Now, if you need that in inches, in inches, it will be 36 inches approximately, sometimes longer, by 78 inches long if that helps you. Sorry, 72. Who am I saying 78? <laughs> hey, this is video five. You have to bear with me. That's a lot of videos I'm doing um, for uh, to make this convenient and easy. And I have to wrap this guy later. Looks like yellows. So I'm having a rough time here. I have to wrap him up. All right. <laughs> yellow is sequenced um, and these cute little embroidered flowers that are on this yellow backdrop has pink little um, coloring and silver. And I will raise that up for you. And that is F. And I'm going to fold this guy and let's go on to the next one. Okay, here is the letter G and here is the letter H. It looks like H has got like a yellowish green tint to it. It's more towards the yellow side. Um, it has these um, orange flowers with silver like spray coming out and um, orange little swirls. And the border is kind of rather cute too. Really cute. Very simple. Uh, G is like more of a like a like um, a soft pale yellow um, with this like a bluish purple swirls going on here and silver different sequins. I can get up a little bit closer for you. A little dainty. Oops. Sorry, I'm in your guys' face. See the different colors in there. That is G and that is H. Okay, here is I, J, K are sold. So here is L. And looks like L also has like a yellow green tint to it. And it has um, this orange tones. I don't know if you can see that in there with flowers of like the orangey gold going up it. And this yellow here again, an um, eye is a very pale yellow with a black flower, like a black and gray flower. I don't know if you can see that on there. This has got more of an orangey tone to it. All right, guys, let's go on to the next ones. Okay, here is M and here is N. N does have an ombre look to it, but it's only on the ends. I don't know if I can show you guys this. So it's a very pale yellow, very dark yellow, and a very pale yellow kind of thing going on. Um, and um, N, sorry, M, <laughs> M is just, is just embroidered. And it's very soft. There's no sequence on this one at all. It's just like an embroidered design going down and throughout it. A very soft, very simple. This reminds me of sunflowers here at the bottom of the border of this one. So that is M, that is N. All right, here is the letter O, and here is the letter P when it comes to the saris. O has rhinestones in it. Um, it, is got, it has like the red, see there, see in the right of... <laughs> I don't even call that rhinestone. It'd be like the plastic red sequence. Nothing sequence. It's like a rhinestone, right? Yes. Boy, I'm telling you, it is a hot day out today and I'm really feeling it. <laughs> this cute uh, letter O scarf, it's almost like an orangey yellow. This one here, if that helps anyone who's looking for how it looks, it's like an orangey yellow. And then it has like little sequence type um, of border. P looks like it has sequins. I think we had one similar to this one just recently. I think it's the letter N. It just has like the flowers and sequins going on. And I think I have one more or two more. I have two more. Hang on one second. Okay, we have Q and R. Now R is very blingy. I think it's the only blingy one in yellow. It has like the paisleys with the red rhinestones and it's a lot of sequins. I don't know if you guys can see that in this one. Very blingy. Very good size. Uh, paisley uh, designs in the center. Q is very simple and soft and no sequence at all, all embroidered with just these like flowers going on throughout it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go on to the next color. Next video, guys, that's the end of this video for yellows. I hope you guys run over there and grab them.